Tulsa Zoo is Sustainable Tulsa's 2018 Bellman Award winner in the medium-sized business category for achievements toward their triple bottom line, people, profit, planet, through the scorecard, the region's first business sustainability tracking and assessment tool. Here is their story. We're really fortunate in being the region's largest daily attraction. We've had more than 700,000 zoo guests each year, and so we're able to reach an incredible number of people. They come out here to the zoo because they want to have fun with their family. They want to connect with their families and enjoy a wonderful experience and see animals. And we're hoping that while they're here and they're seeing these animals, that we're then able to help them take that next step. And so many of our zoo guests do. We hear that all the time from zoo guests, that while I was out here, I learned about this other initiative. You know, we kind of looked at what products we use the most in our everyday operations, and a lot of those are plastic. And we started with the gift shop. We eliminated single-use plastic bags in June of 2017, and instead we now offer a reusable tote for just $2.99. Lids and straws are a convenience that we've all come accustomed to, so eliminating those we knew was going to be hard, but it has been accepted. And we brought in some new alternatives to make the change easier. We offer souvenir cups that are reusable and refillable. Guests can purchase those and bring them back with them on all of their future visits to the zoo for a discounted refill price. We do offer stainless steel straws as well. They're kind of trendy right now. Good for taking with you if you're on the go, fast food drive through Starbucks, something like that, just to get the message out there that reusable is better. We recycle about 2,000 pounds of recyclables every week through the Mr. Murph program in American Waste, and we have close to 7,000 pounds a month that goes to Capanta for the waste energy program. So the mission of the Tulsa Zoo is to inspire passion for wildlife in every guest every day. And part of that mission is people come out to the zoo and they connect to those individual animals. They see our tigers and they fall in love with them. And then we're hoping that as they see those tigers, they'll then also turn to the side and they'll see the sign. There's only 250 to 350 Malayan tigers left out there in the environment. And part of their ticket goes to conservation of Malayan tigers. So we believe really passionately in connecting people to animals here on zoo grounds. And so that way they can inspire passion for wildlife outside of zoo grounds. The scorecard is, it gives us the ability to have a platform to create conversations, not only with ourselves within, with inside our organization, but with the community. So the scorecard allows us kind of that pathway to have a bigger conversation at times about what we're trying to accomplish here. It allows us to have checks and balances for ourselves. It allows us to set organizational goals as far as things like energy usage. The Earth Friendly Committee, you know, we're, we're trying to task ourselves with making ourselves more efficient about how we do our operations here. The zoo, a few years back, through the scorecard, became a partner with THG. And that has been tremendously helpful for benchmarking. THG just makes it so easy. It's so streamlined. You just log on to a portal and I can look at specific buildings and figure out how much water they're using or how much electricity they're using. THG also monitors our waste and our recycling. So they take all of our invoices from all those types of energy and waste and basically compile it. And we can look at things and see well, how much more electricity are we using since we've opened up the new Lost Kingdom exhibit? And we can go on the THC portal, log in and look and see, wow, this is how much we've increased it, but how much have we deferred that cost by all the upgrades we've done with LEDs? So the scorecard, I think, helped galvanize the Earth Friendly Committee. So that just started this year. And what it is, it's a forum for anyone in the Tulsa Zoo to come and talk about what they would like to do to help with conservation. The Earth Friendly Committee decided that we were gonna participate in Plastic Free July, um, where we make a pledge to give up some kind of plastics for the entire month of July. All of the concessions and retail staff here at the Zoo participated in this pledge by either promising to reduce plastic bottles, plastic straws, or just any kind of plastic in their everyday life. We had a high participation rate and it actually inspired a lot of our staff to make lifestyle changes permanently. The scorecard has helped us reinforce our relationships and cultivate partnerships that are beneficial not only for the zoo, but for the entire community. You know, we're only as successful as folks are willing to partner and help us. We wouldn't be able to succeed probably 90% of the things we do as far as sustainability goes if it wasn't for everybody in the Tulsa community wanting to be a part of those processes.